tiki kura hohaia taku ingoa he uri au no pariaka no teikaroa no reira nau mai haere mai ki tēnei o ngā noninga kumu uh, kui maha koroma uh, o pariaka hoki This is a coastal kainga associated with pariaka for growing kumara and also for fishing my uncle, he just said to me one day, you're the kaitiaki here, boy. And that's always stuck with me. It's just a sense of responsibility to my old people and to the environment. We're at the mouth of the Waitakaure. The Waitakaure is a critically threatened stream. For a small waterway like this, you've got effluent, of course, nitrogen runoff. You've got water extraction and also you've got much of the Waitakaure remains unfenced. Instead of being called streams, they've become drains. These modifications on modifications occur that distort that the manga ever had a natural course, that the manga ever chose its own path. Some of the other issues that face the Waitakaure are that because it's a smaller waterway, the concentrations of chemicals and toxins manifest themselves in a much uh, more obvious way once the water level drops. So we really saw that in 2017, summer of 2017-18, when the tuna died here and the water level totally stopped flowing through the boulder bank, all of the water turned oily black and the tuna died, it was terrible. It felt to me like they were crying out for help. Help me brother. mai. The disease, I'll call it nothing short, the disease of piping and drainage needs to be stopped. The fishing space is our greatest platform and the kai space gives us our greatest voice. It always has because it's so connected with everything going on. I don't know the last time I actually caught a tuna to eat here in this rohe because really we don't know the status of the stock. For too long we've let western science kind of um, push us and our mātauranga to the side. Really, it's just about bringing the humanity back into the conversation. Because ultimately, I think the theme, whether it's tuna or whether it's um, karaka, is that it's the rangatira kai. And so rangatira kai deserves rangatira status. Fishing is our greatest platform in terms of having a, a say about our environment, because it's mairāno. It places us within our context as farmers of water. I know intuitively and I know enough about our whakapapa connections that say that we are a brother, we are a sister to those tuna. Climate change and how it's affecting um, the Waitakaure, definitely um, it comes back to the lack of resilience the stream now has to deal with these surges and weather events around dry periods. Instead of these areas being like a sponge and allowing for resilience in dry periods, you know, more water to be held back, um, the current farming process allows for them to be drained and piped to create more money because grass is grown on top. Um, and so the only thing that looks healthy is the bank balance. Farmers and farming needs to work with the natural environment, not against it. We need to stop pushing our streams underground because it's creating way mate, dead water. For me, um, it's crying out for the mana that it deserves. I challenged the regional council to show me what data they've got on our stream and what they've done to stop any more development or extraction of water. I just think that the legislation is outdated. It never took into account Māori communities in the first place. It never took into account our parihaka seafood harvesting traditions or our parihaka tuna harvesting traditions none of those considerations were taken into place at all the greed and need for money is outweighing the value that we are placing on our smaller waterways it's open slather on our waterways we really have to factor in our wairua into every decision that we make yeah there it is it speaks for itself that's how well we're doing.